Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a very exciting update for my Pan Those Eyeshadows 2021 series. This is the third year in a row that I am doing this project. Uh, and hopefully the most successful because while I really love this project and I love having my quintet of eyeshadows to work on towards hitting pan, I historically have not been very successful in this project, but this year is going to be different. This project was created by Alexi and I'm so happy that she is doing this project again this year. The two years that it really gained momentum were actually two years that Alexi took off from this project, but she's back doing it for 2021. For my project, I completely randomize five eyeshadows from my collection. The goal is to hit pan or at least use them 30 times, at which point I can choose to roll out. I do have a couple of vetoes this year. I haven't used that yet, but if I'm just really not liking a shade, I can choose to kick it out prematurely. And I do not want to be working on a black shade. Before getting started on my progress, I wanted to share with you the color story I have been working with since the beginning of the year. I have hit pan in an eyeshadow within this project. In last month's update, I hit pan in a cream eyeshadow and rolled in another one. So my color story looked exactly the same and I have been really tired of it. I'm ready for something new. All right, let's just hop right in. I am going to go in the order of the eyeshadow I use the least to the eyeshadow that I used the most. I am wearing all five shades in my eye look today. I, I will pop in a picture of a closer look at the eye look I have on today. I have the peaches on the lid and in my crease. I'm using a shimmery purpley shade as a winged eyeliner and you know, my inner corner is the white shimmery shade. Okay, so the two I use the least are the same two as last month. I only used both of these one time and it was today and I did the same thing last month because these were super warm eyeshadows that I'm ready to focus on now. We'll get into that in a little bit, but let's go first with the Wet n Wild, not a basic peach palette. I pulled in the shade number six, which I counted, you know, one, two, three, and landed on this peachy shade. Um, you will be seeing on the screen what it looked like last month versus what it looks like now. Again, it's just one more use, six uses in total in this project. This is the non-cruelty free eyeshadow that I have in my project currently. I forgot to mention that in the intro, at least one of my five shades needs to be non-cruelty free so I can start working those shadows out of my collection. I'm ready to start focusing on these shades this next coming month, but my attention was on a couple of the other shades within this project. And so there's there's no movement on this, but I've heard that these pans are not very deep and I shouldn't have too much trouble hitting pan on this, maybe for the next update. I already have, like I mentioned, six uses on this guy. And secondly is from my Violet Voss Sugar Crystals palette. This was brand new to me when it got pulled in. Um, I'm working on the shade Pear Berry, which is this really vibrant peachy shade. You will be seeing on the screen what it looked like last month versus what it looks like now. Again, just one additional use, making for a total of five uses in this project. I think this is going to be an eyeshadow I use 30 times and then roll out because it is brand new so bright. I don't foresee myself hitting pan on this shade. So it's a ton of fun. I'm looking forward to wearing this a lot this spring and summer, hopefully not into summer, a lot this spring, but there's not a lot to update you on currently. The eyeshadow I used the next most with eight uses since the last update is my Makeup Geek Single in Prom Night. This is what I have as my wing and I actually hit pan in this while doing my winged liner today. I knew I was super close and I was thinking, do I wanna put this all over the lid, which is the look I've been panning, a very purpley mauve look you've seen in a lot of videos. 
but I thought, you know what might be able to get me there, get me to that pan is a really thin angled brush. So, and I wanted to make sure I used all the shades in today's look as well, because I just like doing that as an added challenge and I was successful. So as you can see from the picture, I did have a pretty good dip going. I have used this a total of 18 times in this project. And again, eight of those were the last month. I was surprised at how deep these pans are. Um, like obviously looking at them, I can tell like, that's a pretty deep pan, but as I was working my way through it, I continued to think like, I'm so close, I'm so close, and it just kept going. But I'm so, so ecstatic, honestly, that I have another pan to share with you. This is my fourth eyeshadow pan this year. My goal across all projects, not just in this one, is to hit 21 eyeshadow pans in 2021. I think that would just be really fun. And I'm now at four, so... We get to roll in a new shade, which is super exciting. Next up at nine uses since the last update is from my Pretty Vulgar Nightingale palette. I'm working on the shade Break Free, which is a shimmery white shade. I've been using it in my inner corner a ton. And I'm at 29 uses and I am filming this a couple of, da couple of days ahead of time. I know, who am I? I'm gonna get this video up on time that never happens. So I'm going to say that I hit my 30 uses mark. I mean, if I filmed this tomorrow night instead of tonight, I would have been there. So I'm not going to keep this in my quintet for another month. I'm just going to call it done. I think that is understandable. And as you can see from the pictures, I'm choosing to roll it out because Despite 29 uses, because I am using it on such a small area, there's hardly a dip. I'm very light-handed with my eyeshadows, which is an added struggle for me with this project. But as I usually say, maybe I said in my intro, I'm all over the place, who knows, that after 30 uses, I may choose to keep an eyeshadow in if I feel like I'm so, so close to pan, but I'm nowhere near pan in this eyeshadow, so I am ready to put this away and pay attention to another shade that maybe I will hit pan on. Or this year, while I do want to hit 21 pans, as I mentioned, I really just want to show more of my collection love in 2021 because a lot of it got really neglected in 2020 with both my laser focus on project pans, but also just not wearing makeup as much. And I don't want that to happen this year. So I'm satisfied with my 29 uses on this palette so far in the first less than three months of 2021. It's still eligible to be drawn again. I did not remove it from my spreadsheet because it doesn't actually have pan on it. There's a very slim chance it would be pulled in a second time in this project, but who knows? The panning gods like to be tricky. This shade is also going to be rolling out. I am so excited. And lastly, the shade I used the most, I think this makes the most sense, I used it 11 times, which means I only did my makeup 11 times since I rolled this in. I did film that update later than I wanted, so it is less than a month, but still, I was in quite the funk towards like mid-February to mid-March. I wasn't doing my makeup a ton, um, but I really kind of picked up the slack in the last week and a half or so, or I tried to. So 11 uses on my Winky Lux Kitten palette. I'm working on the cream shade. So that's how I know I used it every time I did my makeup since the last update is because I'm using it to set my eyeshadow primer. I hope you can tell from the intro or like when it got rolled into now that there is some use on it. I do use quite a wide fluffy-ish brush to set my eyeshadow primer. So I don't think I'm approximately a third of the way to pan, though I'm 11 out of 30 uses. So this may be one that I hit my 30 uses and roll out 
as well. We will see. But of course, I don't really mind working on it. It's just to set my eyeshadow primer and I move on. I also used this quite a few other times in my whole collection project pan in getting 10 uses on this before it was even rolled into this project. So I have used quite a number of the other shades earlier this year as well. I'm really happy to be showing this palette some love. Okay, so that means I get to roll in two new eyeshadows, which pretty much never happens for me. So I am really, really excited. Okay. I have my Pretty Random app ready. No, I don't. Okay. I have 772 eligible eyeshadows. I believe that goes up every time I film one of these videos. I have tried to remove all of the blacks. However, if we do roll a black shade, I will delete it off my spreadsheet if I um, missed it and redraw. I already have my one non-cruelty free shade. Of course, if I roll in a second non-cruelty free shade, then great. However, that's not a necessity. Okay, two new shades. What will we get? 355 and 687. That one would be a pretty new shade as my spreadsheet is more or less organized by age in my collection. Like my oldest eyeshadows are towards the top of my spreadsheet and as eyeshadows come in, I just add them at the bottom. Ooh, okay. So I'm a little bit nervous. First we had 355, I went right past it. Okay. Okay, and then 687. Okay, that could have been way, way worse. I am back. One is a brand new eyeshadow that I've never used before, which makes me a little nervous, but okay, let's start with that one. 687 is actually a new ColourPop Super Shock Shadow, and this came from the Raw Beauty Christie collaboration, and it's in the shade Olympic. I will pop in a picture of what it looks like, of course. Okay, I even took pictures of it, brand new, unswatched. First, I forgot to be swatching all of my shades, which is really dumb of me. Okay, first we talked about the Not A Basic Peach shade. I'm gonna keep the suspense so you don't know what the other shade was that I made that face when I drew it. This needs a little building. Not a basic peach palette. I got a basic peach eyeshadow because of course I did. From the Violet Voss Sugar Crystals. I was smart and brought my makeup eraser down this time. I never do that. We have the shade Pear Berry. My hands are so bony. So a more vibrant, punchy, kind of orangey peach shade. And then Duchess from my Winky Lux Kitten palette, which is just a cream shade, which you can hardly see on my skin tone. Okay, so this, these are the three shades that are staying in. Now for the shade Olympic, it's kind of like a champagne. What finish is this? Ultra Glitter. Those typically aren't my favorite. It's kind of like a champagne with a goldish green sort of undertone to it. Very beautiful. This will be a great shimmer. Still very light, maybe more like a topper. I bet it would look beautiful topped on these peachy shades. Very excited about that. And I know that I can hit pan in a Super Shock shadow in approximately 20 uses. So 
Um, maybe not for the next update, uh, but we'll see. It is brand new, super creamy. I try really hard to just barely tap my finger in these. I don't push down because I know you can hit pan really fast in them, but I'm happy to be working on a brand new Super Shock Shadow and not waiting until they're old and dry out, dried out to finally use them. And then the one that I made a face, the 300 and whatever number that was, let me see, 355 came from The BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette. This is a frequent flyer in both mine and Laura's Pan Those Eyeshadows from Laura Forrest, more so in hers, but I did have two shades in this last year. And this year, well, for now, it's shade number one, which I'm just seeing for the first time is this light pink. Is this a shimmer or a matte? Let's wipe my fingers off and get them in here. Mm, I think this is a matte light pink. I hit pan in this. I'm wow, I'm such a great YouTuber in shade number 30 in 16 uses, but that is a shimmer shade. This is going to be great for spring looks, so I'm not mad about it. These eyeshadows are pretty small. I don't know how many uses it's going to take for me to hit pan in a matte shade in here, but I was very worried when I saw that it was this palette, but now I'm not feeling as worried. Here is a swatch of it. I will insert a closer picture of my new color story. I think it is very fitting for springtime. I am just so happy and proud of myself for rolling in two new shades this month. That may sound weird, but I'm like the world's slowest panner. So that feels like a really big accomplishment for me. Let's talk goals for next month. I hope to do my eyeshadow or my makeup more than 11 times. Um, so I, I can track that specifically by how many times I use this cream shade. So my goal is to do my makeup more than 11 times. I really want to get moving on these peachy shades since they were pulled in in my intro in January. However, I focused more on the cooler tones to start off with since we were in the winter months and I didn't mind working on these types of shades come springtime, whereas I probably wouldn't have been as motivated to continue to work on cooler tones in the spring, which is why I'm happy to have gotten prom night out of here. I think of the two, I'm most likely to meet my goal and hit pan on the Wet n Wild eyeshadow. And I think I'm going to try topping it with the ColourPop Super Shock shadow pretty often, maybe not every single time, but I think that will add some interest to the look as well as get some really good use on the ColourPop Super Shock shadow. As I said, I don't think I could have that shade in particular rolled out next time, but if it's in the project for just two months, I would feel really accomplished with that. And the others, like the Violet Voss shade and the shade from BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil, I would just be happy with a handful of uses. I don't want it to be just one single use for the update like it has been the last two times, but I really do better in this project. Narrowing my focus on one or two shades is more successful for me than trying to use all five evenly and like jumping between them. Does that make sense for me? And I'm glad I'm finally kind of figuring out how best to pan eyeshadow for me personally, because everybody's different and I have been trying to emulate some of my favorite panners or the friends I see being really successful in their projects. And they're like, oh, I just use 10 different palettes every day and 
I have tried that and I don't enjoy that. I think I like creating a look out of a maximum of three or four palettes. I don't like every single shade I use to come out of a different palette, even if they're all in projects and I'm working on all of those shades, it's just not as fun for me. All that's to say is I'm really happy with this update. My goal for next month is to have Pan in my Wet n Wild eyeshadow and then I will be choosing from a smaller subset of eyeshadows which are my non-cruelty free shades to work on because the two shades I rolled in this month as well were cruelty free. Um, so if I hit pan in this one, then I need to roll in a non-cruelty free eyeshadow, but I'm happy to be working through them a bit. And I think my color story really lends itself well to springtime, as I mentioned. Let me know how you're doing on your pan those eyeshadows, if you are doing this project as well. Give me some look suggestions if you have any. I love reading through those in the comments. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that I know, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.